previously on The Apprentice Asia. You'll be going back to basics. The teams were thrown in at the deep end, selling fish in a local market. Whoever made the most profit would gain victory in the boardroom. Why don't you ask another story? And while project manager Nick struggled to handle big personalities, pricing themselves, pricing costs. The fact that that was not a team decision is to me a problem. Hendon failed to lead his trigger happy boys team out of chaos. Fish, fish, fish! Today only special! Come over! Okay, Salmon is 14. We got a 20. They're not selling it at the right price. At the end of the day. Oh my god. 45. We'll come for 47 per kilo. We sold at 15. Pricing mistakes meant neither team made a profit. Tim Maverick sold at a loss of 654 ringgit. However, the girls, with a smaller loss, managed to scrape through and win the first task. You might have sold at a loss, and that's really fairly unacceptable in my books. You have won because they were appalling. And in an unexpected turn of events, Hendy refused to blame others in his team. So who were the weak members in your mind? Sorry, I cannot answer that. You don't want to or you cannot? Leaving Tony Fernandez no choice. You're fired. Suicide. I learned something great tonight. Sometimes one should uh, defend oneself in the line of fire. Thank you, thank you. I think uh, the game got really real today, uh, and I think everybody realized that. And there's no hiding right now. It's, it's time to give even more and to win because you don't want to be uh, in the bottom three again. Just say it's good to be home. Good to be home. <laughs> Today's task is all about travel. For the internet savvy traveler, Expedia is the world's largest online travel company with a turnover of 34 billion US dollars and 150,000 hotels. Expedia has now arrived in Asia. And as you know, Kathleen Tan is the CEO of Expedia Air Asia. And I'll ask her to tell you what the task is today. Your task is to produce a 30-second viral video that will encompass the services of Expedia and showcase creatively the Expedia brand personality. I'm feeling a little bit nervous because I, I watch a lot of viral videos but I've never made one. This is a task right up my alley. Uh, I have done videos before so I was really excited about this task. So it's all about travel and hence we're going to send you to Singapore to do this video. 
The team that produces the most engaging viral video will win the task. We'll meet you back in the boardroom and one of you will be fired. Let's start with the PM. Well, if you guys okay, I would like to volunteer myself to be a PM for this project. Project manager. Yep. Do you have any experience in this area? Not really, but my um, background, my undergrad was in, my minor was in business advertising. Do you not think a viral video is quite different from a normal advertising campaign that we see? Of course. If everyone is comfortable, I'm okay with it. But if not, then we can... I'm comfortable if you're you comfortable. Say aye, aye, aye. Okay, All right. All right. For this task, our project manager is Ducity. I think when she first stepped up, people were surprised because she's been quite a low-key member of the group so far. I personally was very pleasantly surprised. I was glad someone took the heat off me because they were gunning for me to be the next project manager. Let's first start electing our project manager, I think. Okay. I would volunteer Sam. You have the expertise as far as filming is concerned and sure. production also. Sure. I'd be happy. Are you guys okay with that? I'm happy to have you, but please tell us. Sure. What exactly is your expertise? You. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh, uh, I've done little small programs before, and I've done a little bit of shooting, editing myself personally. Uh, so I have a fair idea of uh, how the whole process works. So I'm I would love to be a project manager, but Sam, he's so insistent that he is the man. So everybody happy? Everyone for Sam. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sure. Yep. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you and I take it as an honor to lead this team and Team Mavericks to, to yeah, victory man. in this round, alright? To the first victory, man. To the first victory, guys. I was super, super excited because I was very sure that if push comes to shove, I can do the role of the director, producer, you know, the whole nine yards in the, in the cycle, including the editing and the final delivery. In terms of director, uh, I'll take up that responsibility. Anybody would like to volunteer for producer? I volunteer for producer. Um, basically, this is also what I do in my job. The time code logger. So I'm very happy you take this role. The continuity makeup, uh, would you like to take up that responsibility? Sure. sure. Yeah, sure. sure. And production runner will be Hanzo. I guess I'm the only guy left with, with, with no roles, man. As the production runner, it's something new to me. Serving people, running around. I don't like people telling me what to do. But I need the team to win. So I would put aside my ego for a moment and just do the job. All right, so time code locker will be Nick, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll be makeup artist and production runner. All right, so you will be com comfortable with producer. Definitely, that's exactly what I was eyeing earlier. Okay, and you too. Yeah, go producer then. I'm, I'm comfortable directing, producing, because I've done those both before. So it will be director and co-director. Huh? Brilliant, yeah. Yeah. But since I'm the project manager, I should be director of, of this whole thing as well. And whoever with me, we're going to yeah, kind of co-direct together. So Andrea is a perfect match I think because you know from last task I can see that like she's sharp and and quite direct they can't be two chefs hello cannot be two directors it can be always chef and sous chef I mean I'm sous chef get... I'm AD I've director. directed productions before yeah. okay, okay 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 let's All do right. that unfortunately we have two sets of producers and we have two sets of directors so we'll see who'll battle it out and win should we ask them if they want a certain theme song to play with it? No, 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 no. As the producers, he, he's hiring us to do that, make the decision for him. I mean, it's we, it's going to be so tied up. Asking, no, I'm just saying that it's not really I'm asking questions that we already have a we already sort of have answer to. On that. Yeah, yes. exactly. There are a few times people interrupt me while I was speaking, like Niku, you know, never let me finish the conversation. Or Andrea jump in, Selena jump in. Actually, these three, you know, they they aggressive. So my tactic, after the first meeting, I, I let them speak so they can have the idea come out. But then it, at the end, it's me who call the shot. Come up with a few quick questions so that we, we ask very intelligent, sharp questions. I can't afford to ask questions that will look us, make, make us look dumb yeah, right. in front of them, especially since they're going to be judging okay. us, that's why. Yeah. Um, number two, I think the strategy strategy for the future okay. is something that we need to hammer on. Like yep. for example, what is the vision and the ambition of the company in the few years' time? Okay. And where do they want to go with that? Jonathan's marketing background becomes a liability because the key is produce a viral video. Not talk too much on the details. Why, why is that important? Because it determines the strategy of where the revenues will come from. Panels and you'll be fired. Keep it here on AXN.
you very much for joining us here. Now, we would like you to create a 30 second video promoting Expedia. Three very important things that the video must contain. Number one, it must contain the brand Expedia and the Expedia logo. At number two, it should contain the tagline, Expedia, the world's largest online travel agent. And number three, it should feature the Expedia suitcase um, in some way. Aside from that, there are no rules. We want you to have fun. We want you to produce a video that has the potential to go viral on the internet. Do you have any um, new markets that you would like to explore and you would like to put in this video as well? That's a good question. So Expedia is new to Asia, but travel has very broad appeal. How would you describe your company in just three words? Great place to book travel. To book <laughs> travel. That's five, sorry. You're not helping. <laughs> I'm glad we asked Tom quite a few questions and I'm glad we maximized the 15 minutes and we asked every question possible that came to our minds, uh, of course, without going off topic. So what is your vision or ambition of Expedia in a few years or two, in, by 2014? Well, that's not part of this uh, task, so um, you should just leave it out. And uh, also, uh, from the perspective of, of the revenue pie, uh, would you think that the pie coming in from booking of airline alone? So I, I think from your task perspective, it should not matter really. I mean, the revenue yeah. questions don't really matter. Team Mavericks did ask a few questions that were not relevant. I'm worried that they'll end up doing something that is off track. We have to be very specific about how we're going to create the story because they did mention viral video and not commercial. You know, everyone knows Gangnam. That's viral. We can create like crazy dance moves. So we'll give them like a move, like a signature move to do everywhere they go. Yes, like, yes, yes. Signature yes. move. We have to be signature have one move, signature like, move. So maybe we can focus on facial expressions yeah. and more. Yes, yeah. yeah. I agree yeah. completely. Yeah. It's so facial hard. expressions. It's viral video is something that's supposed to be very easily repeatable. So we've narrowed it down to either funny expression, funny sounds, or funny movements, or funny dance. I was thinking a very cheeky idea, by the way. I don't know if it'll happen or not. Yep. <laughs> so Richard Branson yep. said if he, he lost the bet about the racing, yep. and he's gonna be uh, you air, know, hostess. Uh, air hostess, hostess on yeah. one of the Air Asia flights. The backdrop to this Richard Branson thing is a news item that came in the newspaper that is very famous, that Richard Branson lost a bet with Tony Fernandez in a racing game. And he said, if I lose, I will be an air hostess for one day in Air Asia, and they show a fake Richard Branson with the with the with the with the air air, air hostess dress, yeah, yeah. <laughs> serving <laughs> serving to this you know yeah. this, this this boss. So I think that will go viral. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Richard Branson part will make it viral. So we sort of took that concept and said, hey, that's a good opportunity for us to make this Expedia Air Asia tie up and make this whole video go viral. If Alex were to, and he looks like Richard Branson by the way, smart and handsome, and it goes with Richard Branson, guess what? Richard Branson is known as the Maverick, and our team is Team Mavericks, right? Yeah. Like that, it'll go viral, it'll go viral. So Sam felt that I looked like Richard Branson when he was younger, and he wanted to use me, you know, to uh, to act like Richard Branson in a, in an air stewardess outfit. You know, at the end of the day, if you need me to shave my legs, I'll shave my legs. No! Blackout. I don't agree, man. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know about you guys, but I don't agree. I understand, I understand where he's coming from. My, uh, my concern is, where are you going to shoot this? Correct. We'll, that part we have to work out, definitely. Okay. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I'm not even concerned about location. The, the whole ending part, I just disagree totally. Okay, okay. Sam wants to shoot an epilogue of Richard Branson, which I don't agree for various reasons. I like the idea, Sam. But if I were to put a checklist, time issue, location issue, focus of the audience, and the key communication message concern, I don't think we're going to be making it for those three. The Richard Branson part was spent more on how to convince Sam that it should not be part of the viral video. They open the wardrobe and they get into another world. But they have to do something again to make it viral. Yeah, yeah. That's the brainstorming process was pretty much a fish market. People said whatever they wanted. I think ultimately as team players, we're looking to the project manager for big direction, for big moves. And that was lacking. Yeah, we just need to sing out a move that is like really funny. That's the most important thing now. Okay, so the, the kids are already there. The yeah. next scene is a shot of the kid enjoying the beach already. They talk, 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 talk until like my ears are like. I'm usually a talkative person, but with these girls, I'm like the one who's quiet.
All right, girls. So we are gonna go to four locations today, right? We split into two groups. Three of us went down to Sentosa to recce the location. The others stayed back to cast the people. So let's bring in the talents. Hello, okay. please come in. Shrey, right? Yeah. Hi, please have a seat here. Mm, I like okay. him already. So Shrey, how old are you? I'm 18 this year. 18, hi, I'm Selena. Please come in. We'll go straight hi, ahead. Shrey. Hi, Shrey. Please start on the line. I'll start shooting. In three, two, two. one. Oh, okay. We could, some Bollywood there. <laughs> wow, nice. When I saw Shrey's move, I know like, oh yes, this is something simple enough that it could go viral. Nice. So if we do this, from this angle all the way, we'll cover the beach, show that the person is kind of living on in location. The uh, Sam is currently too focused on shooting, on angle, on lighting, on props and all those kind of things. But when you do that, you lose focus on what is the key objective. I want to bring you guys up to the objective. You've got to make it like fun, fun, fun. So you've got to add in some wacky stuff. Will we do some close-ups as well, are you thinking? Definitely, we have to do close-up. No, because tomorrow we don't have time to, like, oh, I like this angle, I like the angle. We're just going to tell the cameraman, look, I want this. Do it this way. So we kind of need to decide today. Okay, right. let's walk this way and see. Andrea gets grumpy easily. You know, anything small thing, and she's like, tch, tch, all the time, you know. We cannot get grumpy at this time. Happy dance move. Yeah, yeah. Because we have to do like together, three people, you know. So they have to sort of a little synchronize. We basically let D take charge because she's the project manager. But most of what's happening is we're coming up with the ideas and she's just rubber stamping it and saying yes or no. Thank you very much for sharing. The frontal shots, over the head shots, and then the exit shots from here, you can uh, sort of go. Sam, Sam, you gotta listen, man. I mean, I mean, I'm sure you're like, your mind is, I'm trying to find good shots and stuff, but the fun element is still very much missing. I'm just afraid it becomes a TV commercial, okay. rather than a viral video. Oh. Yeah. So, I'm thinking like, a shot of the kid playing with the dog, or he's like, ah, and the girl's going like this, ah, like that, okay. you know. That's... I'm a wacky kind of guy. You know, I, I, I'm crazy. I can de demonstrate anything right now. Stomping on the stomping no, dude, that's on top of him. Ah, whatever, man. Like crazy. Crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. stuff. More out of the world, kind of crazy. Get our point, right? Some of the ideas that they came up with was, you know, just playing with the kid and, you know, the kid is jumping around here and there and which I thought were very common. It's not something that the world will see and say, wow. That's why even we talked yesterday about, you know, doing an epilogue of the Richard Branson thing coming and, and Branson that will that'll, that'll appeal. I think Sam's totally obsessed. I, like, I think he likes to see Richard Branson in an Air Asia uniform. So the mother look gives him like a funny look and say, why is a man dressed in a woman's dress and serving me beer? You know, Tony Fernandez and Richard are, are, yeah, you know, yeah, but you're not targeting them, man. I'm not targeting them at all. They're targeting, them, they're targeting the mass market who it's, don't it's, know about That would be the virality of the whole thing, I'm saying. If Sam further pushed that idea, I think that will be against him in a sense that he's not accommodating the ideas of the rest of the team. And in this case, because, you know, the rest of the team didn't like it. Left for what to do today. Hi, guys. How was it? I'll give you an update on everything. Okay, come, come. Okay. Not enough chairs. Yeah, yeah. All right, before we start anything else, then I uh, just want to let you know that I am not the director anymore. I, I will be the co-director. She will be the, the director of um, the shoot because I will be running around checking on everything, you know. So she will be the one who's taking care of the cameraman, the angle and everything. I agree with that, D. I can do that. I can do the execution tomorrow, but I still okay. think we need to discuss these artistic decisions today. All right, I just want to let you know that we, we uh, the task has, has, uh, has been shifted yeah, a little we've bit. We've already talked yeah. about that. To be honest, I think after going down today, she's realizing it's bigger than what she imagined. So by swapping the roles and making me director, D is just trying to take the heat off of herself. Can I just say That's something? The, the client brief that we received was he just wanted three things, the Expedia brand and logo. Right. He wanted just these three. Right. But it's no, those like are must-haves. These are the must-haves. We need Their voice is just getting too loud. I just tend to like, like <gasps> guys, we're not in a market. We're in an okay, office so setting here. So I don't understand why people are so worked up. Just relax a bit. If we have space for it, that's not a problem. Value we need to just make sure the brand and logo, the tagline. I want the team to win. And if winning takes one less person speaking up, be it. It has the logo. It's the world's largest. Yeah, like clearly, if you're in the women's team, if you don't speak up, you're going to be weak. I heard DN today say, oh, how can I speak? All of you women are speaking so much. Well, 
Welcome to Women's World. All right, guys. The booking of the locations for the viral video, we've done. Casting is confirmed. We uh, have to finish the most important ones, which is the script. How about like like when you boy picks up the phone? <laughs> No, 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 we're not showing any face. Next, next, no, next, no, next, no, next, no, next, no next, face. next, no face. Only first, dialogue, first dialogue, first dialogue, first dialogue. Right, right, right. Right. I'm always open to the ideas that come from the team. But as director, I will be the final person to say yes to a particular idea or no to a particular idea. Hi, this is Team Mavericks. Hi. Uh, number one, I would like to order some props. I would like three lollipops. With three different flavors. So lollipops will be at different pricing altogether. Okay. We will. I will call you back in five minutes for this. Will, take will a decision. Okay? Take a decision. Take a decision. You take a decision. You take a decision fast, man. Why are you waiting? Sh shut, shut up, man. Huh? Shut up. Yeah. Hi, this is Team Mavericks. Hi. Uh, number one, I would like to order some props. I uh, would like three lollipops with three different flavors. So lollipops will be at different pricing altogether. Okay. We will. I will call you back in five minutes for this. Will, take a decision. Okay? Take a decision. Take a decision. You take a decision. You take a decision fast, man. Why shut, are you sh shut, shut up, man. Huh? Shut up. Yeah. I need to know the whole budget. Sam, he should have a bit more patient. I was just clarifying the costing. Let me do my job, you know. Sweets to lollipop, we have 24 sing. One lollipop will cost you $1. Objectively speaking, I think Hanzo was not as much as motivated as the rest of the team. Okay. This task for him was something in which he was like a fish out of water. I felt he provided the least creative input. Okay. Yeah, 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 Andrea. Hold on, hold on. We want to be from here. D, and we want a lot of jungle. It wasn't we, this bench. Other bench has a lot of trash can, I checked. So we don't want it around. So we just want it. All we right. don't want this. Bench. What happened during the shoot is the moment we got on location, D took charge. Action! Cut! We got it. Nice one. Okay, let's go. Actually, at the end, it was me who directed the um, video because I had a talk with Andrea and asked her if she was comfortable doing it. And she said she doesn't know exactly how to shoot, you know. Actually, I didn't know either, but I was ready to do it. And don't move too much because uh, if you shift your weight, you're actually shifting almost half a frame. Yeah, okay. Standing by and sound rolling, camera rolling and action. Many, many years ago, I have harbored that dream of becoming a director. And today, that little dream has come true. Cut. Can we do like a, a cutaways of, of her getting the phone out? And this is like extreme tights of, of her from here, just walking by. And if you can take it from here down all the way to the house. And then the last one, these are the best price on the internet. That's when we go extreme tight. As director, I definitely did take the creative role uh, and I did take control over different departments because the, the filmmaking process cannot be a democratic process. If multiple people get involved, too many cooks will spoil the broth. In record action! Thank you, cut. Should I look at the camera? Actually, yes. Yes. No, 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 no. We're not doing it because the only time they're aware of the cameras is when Shrey talks to the camera. She's like literally just dancing. All right, all right, we can do, we can okay. do. Okay, all right, all okay. right. Okay. I think Andre is always going to have her own uh, point of view. And she is beginning to question the creative aspects of what Dissidy is coming forward with. The team is sort of being unsettled there. And action. Is this the best prize on the internet? Cut. Do it a little bit more slowly if possible so that the audience can understand your, your English, you know. But could uh, be more demanding for me, Sam. 
Yeah. Like, is this the best price on the internet? Yeah, it needs to be a bit more. Like, is it the no, best no, price? No, it shouldn't look like, like. I don't want it that but, way. Or at least two takes. The good part about Sam is when you stand watching him, you probably thought that he was a director. That was his profession. But the bad part about Sam is he's not listening to anyone. So do you want it to be wall at the back or just them acting normal somewhere there? Wall at the back. Wall. Okay, so you prefer wall. Okay. But not this wall. So we're doing wall, but we're not doing this wall. Wait, 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 but Tell me work. what's the difference between this wall and the outside wall. The lighting. This one, it looks so bad. The wall outside is the same color, literally. Andrea, she's a kid. She's just 25. She cannot control her emotion. So you can see on her face and she's complaining. It's hot. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I want this. I want that all the time, you know. And you cannot do that if you are a director. Come on, let's not waste time. Outside? Yeah. Um, Andrea, you know we're moving outside to the it's other wall. It's too dark. That's what the camera guy said. It's too dark. Team Apex, there's a lot of things coming out. Everyone wants to talk. They were all trying to outsmart one another. I don't want them to be my colleague because they will drive me wild. Oh, like this is a lot better. That's fine. Okay, ready? Camera rolling. And Florence, action. Cut. Good, good. Let's come, come, come. Let's go, let's go. Everyone has a strategy. I had some mistakes in the first task already. So in the second task, I'm sticking to my strategy to lay low, but give my best. Do you play com uh, mobile games? Uh, put your phone down. Ready? Go tight on his ears. Sam, we don't need that shot. Sam, we don't no, no, need we need this. that. We need that. Just finish that shot, right? Sound rolling. For Team Mavericks, it's really Samuel's show. Action. And if he does fail in this challenge, clearly at the boardroom, he is the person that's going to take the fall. And action! Thanks, Axia! Cut! Okay. Can I pack up now? Yes. Seriously, I need 100% okay. 100% okay? 100% okay. Okay. Now, we, we have to do like two more times because we have to focus on him and you. Yeah? Yeah, but that means... Oh. Just, just stay, just stay there. Just don't move. Uh, it's ten, ten. The shoot was all about execution. That's where you win or lose. And at that stage, I think many of us felt that there was not enough control or direction being given by the project manager. If we lose this task, the person responsible for it would definitely be the project manager. Can you take a look, Jonathan? Can you take a look at yeah, the screen? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can and you see if you have good, good, uh, good shots. I think I was the guy who put everybody together to have the last scene. Without me, there's no fun element in that. So we do cheeky smile. Cheeky smile. Smile, everybody smile. All right, smile. Go! All right, it's all right. We did it. I think we did it, guys. Come on, guys. Woo! Come on, baby. Come on, hand I'm pretty happy with the way the whole thing went. We have all the shots we require. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty confident going into the edit suite. Whack attack. Whack. Whack. Go to 18, 18, from here, I like it. If he looks up, we'll take that from there. Just play that once. I want to be cautiously optimistic when I go into the boardroom because I don't have anything to compare it with because I haven't seen what the other team has done. But I'm confident in the product. Hopefully the story will work and uh, the whole message will be communicated. And there, that's the last shot. Oh, okay. You see it and then you kind of run into it and you kind of disappear into it. And when the dance is happening, we actually have a hashtag that people can follow, like upload their own. So we're inviting people to upload their own online dance. Okay, great. Selena, sometimes she likes to jump in. I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. She thinks that she's been in this um, industry before, but she forgot that she was a model. She's not a producer or director. Thank you, Kia! The world's largest online travel company. I am happy with the product. But I cannot say that I'm 100% confident because the boys, they might have some creative idea. I don't know. Very nice. Very nice. I like the wacky stuff. I like the funny stuff. But it all goes around with Sam because he's putting the whole task together. So if he wins, credit to him. If he loses, he takes the fall. Right, right here. 
and this is ready for you in the boardroom. So the task was to produce a viral video for Expedia. So D, you were the project manager? Yes, sir. And how do you think you did? I did very well. Really? I think so. Did you originally appoint Andrea as your co-director, then change? Did yes, you? yeah. Yes? Mm -hmm. Do you not trust her? No, it's not. It's not. Both of us had no experience. I do trust her, but I thought that um, I should be the one who responsible for the whole picture. But it concerns me that you started to ask her to be director, then during the shoot, you kind of unilaterally decided to take it back. So it's kind of a coup d'etat. And Andrew, what do you think? Do you think that given the chance, it may have been better for you to have been director? No, sir. I was very happy with the original roles as assigned for me to assist Dee. And mm. on the shoot itself, that's what happened. Okay. Deanne, who were the strong and weak players in the team? The strongest player in this particular task would be D because she was able to be calm in the middle of the storm. So you were the boss. In our group, everyone just loved to talk, so it, it, it would be nice if someone stepped back and listened and take all the ideas. I know I'm a leader, I'm not a dictator and say my idea is always right. Diane, who's the most difficult to manage? I would have to say the more vocal ones in yeah, this yeah, one. Name, name, name. Yes, it's Andrea, Ninku and Selena. They can come across as strong-willed. Well. I have to say that the weakest player on the team had to fight with the strongest players and because she does not have a voice, she gets wiped out. Who were you referring to? Um, Dian. Uh, clearly, she is threatened by people who are strong, who say what they need to say. That's not true. I can deal with strong little people if they take their turns and know when it's time to talk and not talk. Okay. I can do my job without talking. Well. I'm not entirely sure. In a team of strong-willed people, you have to stand up and be counted or you'll drown. And Kat, yes. what do you think? I think Team Apex understood what constitute a viral video. I, I like their brainstorming session, but their chatter actually gave me a headache because everyone wants to talk. No one wants to listen to one another. Team is the key to winning, in my opinion. I don't care whether they're six very strong people, six incredibly brilliant, talented people. It's not about the individual. The success is a team. I'm not sure I 100% saw that so far. We shall see in, in your product later on. Let's move on. So who was your project manager? I was, sir. You were? Uh, I stepped up. It's good you stepped up because I thought you did very little in the last task. Uh, I have done a lot of amateur videos in the past. What amateur videos have you done? Uh, these are a lot of corporate videos for my office, my team. Any videos became viral? Uh, none that was outside of office, so no. Right. Who came up with the concept? I did, sir. You did? Jonathan, what do you think the key elements of a viral video is? It has to be something that at the first instance of watching it, you would instantly want to share it on your Facebook or Twitter okay. account. Sam, what do you think? Uh, to use a word in India, we call hatke, means which means different. It's like totally wacky, never hard heard of. Hatke, totally wacky. Nazril, which was the wacky part in your video? The wacky part was the end part, where I said... End part. The end part, you're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. Yes. Okay. Sam, who were the weak team players? For me, it was uh, Honzo. He was slightly disengaged. When others, I felt they literally owned the product. I'm not a weak player, sir. I just had a weak role. So I was a production runner. Production runner's job is to take care of the talents, the crews, uh, bring drinks and food. So the job description so itself... a glorified office boy. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's a weak role. Why didn't you want to do more? Because I see that a lot of guys are contributing too much. It's distracting the project manager. So was he a good project manager? Yes, Sam was a good project manager. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised you think anyone is a good project manager, apart from yourself. My advisor has told me you said to him, shut up. That doesn't sound like he was a great project manager. No, that was a, a mistake on my side. It was unprofessional. Was he out of order? At that moment, yes. Yeah. Actually, I've done a lot. The main thing that the guys like is the fun part, which is at the end. 
I pulled Nash, I pulled Alex. Let's brainstorm some wacky stuff. The stuff that will go viral. Yes, right. sir. So in terms of the wacky stuff, your project manager, experienced guy, maker of amateur videos, gave nothing to it. We did discuss it and we discussed some really wacky stuff which so then... So give me one of your wacky ideas. Uh, we actually thought towards the end uh, in our climax scene, we wanted to do an off take on the bet that Richard Branson lost to you. Uh, wherein, you know, he said he's going to wear an AirAsia costume and actually serve, you know, uh, serve the customers. So something like that. Okay. Kat, I mean, it's interesting to get your views. I think the team was too focused on marketing. You know, when we had an Expedia person representative, they should make full use of it. But they were trying to ask too many questions on what is the total revenue, what's the vision of Expedia. What's the revenue got to do with making a viral it, video? Precisely. Anyway, we've heard enough. Let's play Team Apex video first. Largest online travel company. Okay, let's watch the boys' video, Team Maverick. Hey Sharon, sorry to disturb you on your holiday, but I urgently need you to book my flight to Manila tonight. Done! Don't forget to package the flights with hotel and cars too. It's done! Is this the best price on the internet? Guaranteed! Thanks, Sharon. Are yeah, getting calls from the office? Hmm, where do I start? Let's talk about Team Maverick first. Sam? Yes. Is that something you would retweet? I would personally, yes, retweet and... Uh, Which bit? Definitely the whole uh, thing that about the boy, you know, looking back, winking the whole, oh, so cute kind of thing. And then the whole end part where, you know, the guys are playing around, so Expedia is pampering its customers. Wow, you saw something I didn't. I really didn't see that. Jonathan, you were the producer. You were supposed to deliver the brief. Did that video meet your brief and objective? I'd like to think so, as far as meeting the brand. I'd like to think so. Don't know, answer the question. We did meet the expectations of the brand, and we also made it fun to be shared by the others. CEO other. of Expedia seems to disagree with you. I would not viral that because it comes across as cheesy. Not? Both of them weren't great in terms of being a viral video, but in terms of which delivered better, I'd have to say that Team Apex did. There was a viral element. Not very strong, but the concept was heading in the right direction. Okay, it's very clear to me there is one winner in this competition. And Team Apex, you have won again. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So your reward as winners is to go up to the 57th floor of the Petronas <laughs> Tower 3 and you can have drinks and canapes at Marini's. Have a good evening. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. Hard. Thank you. Ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Team Maverick, unfortunately you've lost yet again. So one of you will be fired. My name is Junior. Welcome to Marini's on 57. Yeah, it is fresh. I saw that. <laughs> Apex Martin. Apex. Apex. Beautiful. Hey. You can make it joke <laughs> now. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Apex. Cheers to Apex Martini and yeah, thanks cheers. Expedia. Thanks. Expedia. Right. That was a complete failure. Jonathan, as a producer, were you embarrassed watching that? I don't think so. No, I was. I... I really was. We all put our hard work on it, Mr. Fernandez, and at the end of the day, we were very happy hard with that work route. Hard work doesn't win. One of you are going to be fired today. Hard work means nothing if you don't get the results, Jonathan. 
So you were proud with the video you did? I think we all were happy. Hands up. Yes, I'm happy with the video we produced. And you've lost. You happy with losing? No. You guys must be on another planet if you think that was going to be a viral video. You guys missed the brief completely. Natural, whose responsibility was it? I felt so strong that it was a TV commercial. Unfortunately, Sam was really persistent about the idea and the direction of the video. In fact, I, th I, s I said it has to be something different. I mean, why don't we uh, do the Richard Branson thing? I mean, we don't, we don't use his face. We don't use the Virgin logo I actually anyway. think that was quite a clever idea. But you didn't use it. Thank you. So pointless. You lost. Whose idea was it to use this concept? It was my idea. Whose idea was it to come with the Richard Branson? My idea. I can't, I'm, I'm really and, struggling and, and, and as I? to why you guys went with that as opposed to something that sounds a little bit more cleverer. Sir, may I add also that uh, when I first brought this up, Tanzo raised his hand and said I totally disagree with, uh, you know, getting... Tanzo, so you were against the Richard Branson thing. I was against it. I think that was a dumb move. Honestly, it's not because I'm involved in it, but at least you have someone thinking about it, talking about it. It's topical. I I'm against it because, number one, the real Richard Branson is not around. Sam wanted to use Alex as a representative of Richard Branson, so I disagree with that. I think it doesn't matter. You don't have to show the face. You can do the back. You guys screwed up. It's a monumental screw up. You go shoot a commercial when you haven't even got the story, the punch, the viral. Whose fault is it, Alexis? I was a project manager, Sam. Sam, sir. Sam. Sam. Why? Sam. I would say that Sam uh, was micromanaging pretty much every aspect of the task. Sam, do you want to win this competition? Yes, I do then you better start saying that someone else was also partly to blame. Uh, firstly, uh, Hanzo was the one who rejected the idea of the Richard Ransom. Right, the so he's just as much. So if I was you, I'd be pissed with him because you may have won with that because that was probably much better than the girl's idea. And what about your producer? He or she had to deliver the, the brief. Correct. The responsibility of delivering. Correct. Brief. Jonathan, you take responsibility here. I also take responsibility. You didn't say that. You put it all on him. Okay, what did you screw up on? It was basically guarding the concept. We're not happy with the ending. We all wanted something funny or something viral to finish the video. Shouldn't that have been discussed at the beginning when you're doing the storyboard? You guys are trigger happy. And that's a recipe for disaster. You got the basic concept wrong. You didn't even understand what a viral video was, in my opinion. Sam? Who will you bring back to the boardroom? I'll bring back Hanzo. You need one more. From the perspective of the brief, I will bring back uh, uh, Jonathan back. Okay, Alexis and Nazril, you are safe for this week. Go back and have a real good think. Because you won't be safe for long if you continue in this way. Thank you. You can go now. Thank you. This was an absolute failure. You didn't understand the meaning of viral. I want to find out who's responsible. I will deliberate with my advisors, and I shall call you back when I'm ready. Thank you. Mark, right people brought back? Yeah, those three are definitely the, the weakest ones. Where, where are they going wrong? Planning? Weak members? I think it's the concept. And the concept principally was driven by Sam. He took control of that, didn't listen to anybody. Cap. Jonathan didn't get the brief right. He was stubborn. He was stubborn to a point of irritation. Hanzo, he was too safe actually, and he disengaged himself. You can tell this is not his cup of tea. Yeah, it's going to be tough to fire one because all three should be fired. Panels, and you'll be fired. Keep it here on AXM. AXM. Could you please bring the three gentlemen in? All right, Mr. Fernandez is ready for you in the boardroom. So, gentlemen, you're in the boardroom. One of you are going to be fired. You know, all three of you were a disaster. Jonathan. Yes, Mr. Fernandez. Why should I not fire you? I'm your marketing maverick, Mr. Fernandez. I, I was made for this. Apprentice is something I've always wanted. As far as being guided and being mentored by you, definitely you will get a lot from me. Sam, 
Why shouldn't I fire you? I say when you hire me, you're not hiring a mere apprentice who has to learn the job, but you have a fully matured product. So that's why you should not be firing me. Hanzo. Well, I'm a sales ninja. As the apprentice, I will be the best choice because I've already have a proven track record. It can be used immediately. Just put me into a position where I can shine, and I will show you that I can deliver the best results for you. I'm sorry, all three of you haven't convinced me. Who would you fire? Hanzo, Mr. Fernandez. Same, Hanzo, Mr. Fernandez. Hanzo, I would fire Sam. Okay, I'm interested to know why you think Hanzo should go. I fought for the idea that Sam and I thought it was the best brief for this. Unfortunately, it didn't make to the cut of the client, and we all accept that. But the question is, would you compare that to someone who backed down and they didn't actually raise any idea at all? And that's the reason why I think you should fire Hanzo. We could have done it without him, Mr. Fernandez. Absolutely that is the reason correct, why I think Mr. Fernandez. Could've... Why? Because you look at the video, the last bit, if it wasn't me pulling the guys together, that Fernandez bit would not have existed like at all. At the end of the day, it was a good commercial, but not viral. Uh, at that point, when we were talking about virality and the whole Richard Branson thing, Hanzo was the one who sort of shot all of that down. So basically, because of the fact that saying that, you know, it's not viral. I actually not shot the only thing the Richard Branson idea down. I did not shoot any other ideas down. If he had to say something, it was so toned down because he was playing it safe. He would say something or he something. would reject something. Playing it safe. Because so I what do you mean by that? If you really wanted to say something, you fight for it. And in fact, Sam and I were the one driving the entire team. And even if it was wrong, at least someone was driving it because we had to stick by it. Yeah, if but you, you carry that, down disaster road. The if you felt that something wrong, should have been done, there, tell it to us from the very done, start because you're only saying these things now the in the boardroom. The brainstorming was wrong. Producer was supposed to hit the brief. He missed the mark. He was so focused on enhancing other people's but ideas. What was your contribution anyway, Jonathan did not come up with an original idea. The idea was Sam. When did you bring this up, Hanzo? He never brought it up. He's only bringing it up now. No, I did not bring this up. Why not? Because I didn't realize that the producer's job was so important. I was just thinking, how do I make this fun? He was playing it safe. He felt that if he, he could hide under the radar by not saying too much or by saying too less, he might not be observed by I other people. I think that's people. a crazy idea because there was limited time, there were tasks to do, and Sam was so into everything. He has too much on his plate. If everybody were to give their ideas, we have would not have uh, done it at all. Let me uh, summarize what I feel has, has gone on here. Sam, you will have to take the main can because it was your concept. Probably weren't the best communicator at the time. Jonathan, you got too head up in marketing. You were responsible to get clarification of what a viral video was. You ended up doing a commercial and a poor commercial. Hanzo, you were too strategic. You played a waiting game. You didn't give your ideas early enough and you waited for other people to make mistakes, in my opinion. You know, all three of you have failed and that's why you're here i will have to choose someone now to be fired and my decision is for not being part of the team hanzo you're fired you can leave hanzo okay thank you see you guys sam jonathan you survived by the skin of your teeth. Gentlemen, you are lucky. Reflect on this, learn from this, and come back stronger. You may leave now. Thank you, Mr. Fernandez. I think Hanzo had a lot of talent, but he took the easy option, and I don't like that. I want fighters all the way. I want guys who are gonna try all the way. He tried to be too clever. He tried to be strategic in this, and uh, he paid the price. I'm feeling a little bit disappointed. I'm here to win it. I did not manage to do so. I wasn't involved so much because there wasn't a, a team connection from my side to the guys. Hey, I got to do what I do best, which is leading and not being a team player, doing all the mundane stuff, which I hate, which I dislike, and that caused me to have demotivation. Next time on The Apprentice Asia, Mr. Fernandez throws a curveball. Andrea, could you move over? 
that strikes discord amongst the Mavericks. Tell me what is the prize in? Yeah. Discuss, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no point to discuss yeah. that. No, no Sam, flatter. listen to me. Sam is not quite understanding where the rest of the group is, so he's on a slightly different wavelength than the rest of us. And the frustrations of a new task. I'm getting headache looking at this man. Leads to a shocking revelation. No, 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 no. Why?